Sure, we're having a safety and security in places of worship seminar and the Warner Robins Police Department really hosted this event. We brought in trainers from um, USA Training and they are um, bringing up um, um, lots of topics, some to uh, cover non-custodial parents that maybe come to the church and want to take um, the child home with them or um, a loud outburst or something in, in the sanctuary. We're also talking about active shooter situations and um, natural disasters and how to create that safety plan and be prepared for anything. Um, you know at Warner Robins Police Department, we don't wait for it to happen. We're very adamant about being prepared for anything and getting the training in place. So coming into the community and, and instilling that training aspect is really important to us. Over 120 come out today and it's from um, churches all over Houston County. We have some in Perry and some that came from outside of Houston County. So we're really excited for the turnout. It's not that we expect something bad to happen and uh, we just want to be proactive. It's like putting a fence around your pool. It's not because you think somebody's going to come in and drown, but you just want to make sure nobody does come inside and drown. So we want to be very proactive. And the truth is there there are times that you do hear about things happening. And it's not just, you know, violence inside the church. There's also, you know, as he's talking about the possibilities of sexual abuse and, and making sure you train your workers and you do background checks and you know, you just have a system put in that protects everybody. And so it's important because, you know, our children are important and our members are important. 66% of children don't tell anyone until they are an adult. And usually they're over the age of 30. We have to address this. It is real. And we have to begin to look at it. One in three churches screen workers who have access to children. How many people represented here today do background checks on people that are especially working with children in your church? Thank you, thank you, thank you for those children. We do background checks on every single person that works in our, our youth ministry, our children's ministry, and our nursery. Uh, and, and then we also do training uh, once a year on, you know, uh, church security and making sure that you are lining up with our uh, philosophy and you are doing the things that we're asking you to do so we can keep not only the children safe, but their reputation safe. We actually uh, hire uh, off-duty law enforcement officers, and, and then also we have church members that are out there, and their job is to watch and report. We're very thankful for, uh, first of all, the, 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 the county of, of Houston, and of course the city of Warner Robins, and, and the law enforcement officers that are uh, here in our city and uh, we appreciate the fact that they are concerned about uh, churches having security on, on a regular basis also and you know this this comes really with their encouragement and as you can see inside there are a lot of churches represented and a lot of people represented because church security is just on everybody's mind right now because of the climate in the country again we don't expect things to happen we live in a wonderful community and we're so thankful but we would rather make sure things don't happen and have something in place if it does so that we'll be prepared.